Hey there, what's up you guys? It's your boy JD and welcome back to our YouTube channel and today we are going to be discussing the last two Adidas shoe tag that we do have which is the Adidas Bounce and the Adidas Boots. So before we begin I would uh, like to give out a friendly reminder that we actually hit 100 subscribers already so our giveaway for the World Balance slide foam is already happening so if you guys want to join that please click the link up there but also click if you guys did not catch that you guys can click the link down below in the description box where the mechanics are explained so anyways guys again fair warning i am shooting in the living room so if you guys do hear random meowing scratching or any other sounds that will be my cat over there All right, so let's start on about the big daddy that Adidas has, like the best thing that they have as of right now. And this is the Adidas Ultra Boost or Adidas Boost, not Ultra Boost, because Ultra Boost is this, it's, it's that shoe. But in general, just Boost that cushion setup. So what is Boost exactly? I actually made research about this and Boost is actually a type of rubber called thermoplastic polyurethane or TPU and it's adidas's best offer as of right now so adidas came out with adidas boost last february 2012 which was like a really really long time ago since it was so they, it first came out as a training shoe both for the gym so if you hit the gym and at the same time for running so that was the first time that they released this and it revolutionized cushioning setups it had the same impact the way nike's Air, Air Max and Zoom had an impact on shoes. So <clears throat> this is what Adidas Boost um, offered. So going back to where we are now, Adidas has been using Boost for eight years now. And honestly speaking, it's still one of the best cushion setups out there in the market in terms of shoes and lifestyle. But the very first basketball shoes that came out with the Boost was the, as far as I remember, was the Adidas Crazy Light Boost. 2015 or 14 i'm not sure i think it was 2015 and then the d rose 5 so the d rose 5 revolutionized signature shoes for the adidas line so from using adiprene and uh, sprint frames and stuff like that they moved towards using adidas boost and it was the very first basketball shoe that actually had adidas boost and if you guys watched one of the videos with d rose here on YouTube, you guys can look it up. Deros is very fond of the Deros 5 because it's very memorable because he was the very first basketball player with a signature line that released Boost. So what does Boost exactly, you know, it, what does it really offer its users? So Boost is this. So I like what I mentioned in my top three videos, you know, up there. This is one of my all time favorites because of the cushion setup. The energy return, on these guys, it's just different, you know, it, it just, it's not your everyday shoe. It, in, in fairness to say, at some points, it's even better than the Nike Zoom and Air Max. But if you were to ask me what which one is better, and I'm not being biased here, I actually like Adidas Boost more than Nike's React setup because I tried wearing Reacts before and they really felt unstable. So, iba talaga yung, iba yung feeling ng Adidas Boost. Yan. So let, let's go back and talk about it in a basketball term because this is what the channel is all about, shoot, basketball shoot, performance reviews. So let's go back to Boost. So how does Boost feel when you're playing basketball? So for this particular model, the Adidas Crazy Explosive 2017, it has one of the... That's a very medium amount of boost setup that it has compared to Adidas Harden Volume 2. If you guys saw that, man, the chunk of the boost that it had was like, I think so So I love this shoe because it has such a perfect balance between court feel and energy return. So yun yung pinaka important kasi sa when it comes to boost. That's the biggest factor that boost offers. Kasi cushion setups can be plush, it can be responsive, and it can be stiff. So either the three, it can be stiff or it can be plush or it can be responsive. This is what I like about Boost. Boost gives you responsiveness. As in, kapag nagbigay ka ng pressure pa ganun, o pa, you're gonna, it, you're gonna feel the spring back up. That's 
what Boost offers in basketball. It's just that nakaroon lang ng difference when the Harden Volume 3 came out. Kasi medyo manipis yung Boost na ginamit for Harden Volume 3. And it's because the Harden Volume 3 offers more court feel rather than responsiveness. Although it's still responsive, but according to my friend who's been using it, so shout out to you, Toby who has his own pair of the Harden Volume 3s. He does say that it has court feel, but the cushion responsiveness is not what he expected. So, you know, he doesn't really like playing in the shoes, but he does like the shoe, but he doesn't really... Eh, you know, it's 50-50, it's so, so the... But the, that's the only shoe that I ever heard, or he, actually the only guy that I ever heard that had some sort of problems with the shoe because the Adidas Harden Volume 3 from the other friend that I have that wears it the same time he said that it does perform okay it doesn't perform the best but it does perform okay unlike these guys like for, for me I'm sorry man but Adidas has to just come up with something as good as this I mean I love the marquee boost and everything but man this is just different than the Forge uh, the Forge Prime net and everything it's it's just really different you know so, and so for basketball, if you guys do have the uh, extra budget for basketball shoes I, and you like the responsiveness and the cushion setup, but like it doesn't sacrifice that much court feeling as in yung tamdamo pa din yung court kaya paano, I advise that you guys should try getting an Adidas. Uh, as of right now, ang nasa labas ng market is Marky Boost and Zone Boost and of course, I think if, if you can still find it, you got your Adidas Volume 3, the Harden Volume 3. So yeah. Um. So what else can I say about Boost? Hmm. Well, for lifestyle, I've had one Boost shoe, and I can honestly say that it's one of the best lifestyle shoes ever. And so the only con that I can honestly say about Boost, both for the lifestyle and actually even for this, it's that if you start uh, using them for like long periods of time, medyo masakit sa paa. Kasi ito sa bro, masarap siya sa paa. Pero only if I'm gonna be playing for two maximum of three games but if i go beyond three games masakit siya like i i actually switch shoes from time to time i go back to another pair or whatever pair i can find just to relieve myself from the discomfort that boost offers in the long run so it's actually the same for lifestyle like people say na, oh it's the best lifestyle shoe out there yeah, yeah. but like in the long run like let's say you go to the mall like ngayon na ngayon na ba ecq na sa mall for a grocery, saba ng pila, stata you huh, for three hours, dude and side nun. Actually, kaya tanong sa patos naman so mo kasakit yan. Pero what I'm saying is that the Adidas Boost offers such good uh, responsiveness, cushion taram and everything. But in the long run, it, it starts to hurt. So like parang sumobra naman yung pagka energy responsiveness niya na it actually hurts you in the long run. So if you guys want, again, like what I said, the perfect blend of responsiveness, cushion setup, and floor feel, my advice is if you got an extra budget, go for the boost, even if for lifestyle. Because hey, lifestyle for me, you know, no one goes to the mall for like 10, 9, nine 10 hours anyway. So, you know, you just go there to get something or, you know, you go around, hang out with friends. And it won't hurt your feet that much. So, you know, that's my personal experience with the boost. So I hope that helped. So now we are going to be talking about the next um, setup, which is the adidas bounce so guys ano ba yung adidas bounce so here as you can see uh, my donovan issue one yeah and so the donovan issue one is full length bounce and it has the one of the chunkiest bounce i've ever seen and in all honesty it, in terms of basketball way better way better show than boost so that's why i actually wanted to talk about it after i talked about boost even though boost is the number one selling cushion setup that adidas offers bounce is made out of eva so before we get to bounce let's talk about that because i know you guys keep on hearing that not just from me but from other reviewers as well so what exactly is eva eva is called ethylene vinyl acetate so it's a kind of rubber that you actually see almost in any foamy material rubbery material that you see you know you more rubber mats that you see on a preschool uh, yoga mats, you mats a tricycle, yun. <laughs> As even this one, even this, uh, the mouse pad, that actually has ethylene vinyl acetate or EVA for short. So, EVA is a kind of a universal compound, you know, you can't, no, no one has the general right to patent it. So, basically, all brands have access to EVA from Adidas, Nike, Peak, Anta, World Balance, that's it, access sila lahat. 
sa EVA. Now, what happens with that is that they use their patented material or chemical or compound that they inject into the EVA that makes it their very own version of a cushion setup. So that we don't know what they use basically so you know in terms na ginamit nila you have your like what i said uh, boost has thermoplastic polyurethane but it also has eva and it's just a fancier term for eva kasi yung thermoplastic polyurethane it's eva that's an injection and it's something chemical compound or something like that and it's the same with bounce bounce is eva has sinaksakan siya ng whatever compound to make to make it better and it's the same with nike pushlon ni nike ganun din a flash foam ni anta peak tai chi sinaksakan ng chemical compound na, um, na patented under that certain company and then tara, they put it out in the market. So that's basically what EVA is. It's just that once you see the patented name Bounce or yung sa 361 degrees in China, Bounce but with an S, um, yun, uh, nasaksakan na siya nung compound na created by that certain company. So now going back, Adidas Bounce. What can I say? So Adidas Bounce is the second most best, it's the second best selling shoe tech that Adidas offers. So obviously there was a time in the Corona surge no Alpha Bounce. Yeah, my, actually my dad still wants an Alpha Bounce, but I don't know where to get one. So um, you got the Alpha Bounce and that's for lifestyle and running. And then of course you've got the shoes. So for the Bounce shoes, you've got the Dame Line Donovan issue one, because yun pa lang naman lumalabas na and the D-Rose line converted to the bounce from Boost at his signi ninth signature shoe. So the D-Rose line converted from Boost, it became Bounce. So why do I like Bounce better than Boost? Um, number one, because Boost in the long run actually really hurts my feet. Kaso kasi, the, di the main difference between the two is that Bounce offers a more balanced setup than Boost. Kasi Boost has all energy responsiveness. Like parang nakaganyan siya. So pag talon mo, gumaganyan lahat ng energy. Tapos kapag hindi ka gumagalaw, nakaganyan lang siya. So yung, there's like so much potential energy. So pag galaw mo, bilang siya mag-explode. So kanyari, tumalon ka. Tapos you went for rebound, pero hindi ka gumagalaw for like a few seconds. Just bigla ka nag-search ng sprint. Imagine mo biglang sasabog yung energy. So that's what boost offers you. Like parang that energy responsiveness. But bounce on the other hand is like I grab a rebound, right? I, I get a rebound and then I go flat on the ground. And then the energy just balance out siya. So hindi siya nagkaroon ng surge of responsiveness. It's responsive, but not to the point where it, it it's like... Boom. It's It's really more balanced than what you would expect. Yun nga lang, um, there are some shoes that does require break in time, like the Pro Bounce. Pro Bounce actually requires quite a break in time. But yet this Donovan issue one also required <laughs> some break in time. It took me around three games before I actually started feeling the bounce and then like a few more basketball sessions until I actually started feeling the responsiveness and all that. So what else can I say about the bounce so in terms of lifestyle i've never really had the bounce cushion setup for lifestyle or training shoes i do hope to cop one soon maybe but from the surge of sales that alpha bounce had i'm guessing that it's really a good lifestyle shoe. like a lot of people really opted that like because the thing is boost and bounce is like if you have extra money go for boost but if sakto lang yung budget mo go for bounce in chat so if you've noticed, one of the reasons why Dame never used Boost in his line was because he himself said that he wants his shoes to be very affordable to the general public. And I'm amazed by that decision because of course, the royalties kasi nila, like they get, like I don't know how much they get every time someone buys a shoe. You want $1 now or something like that. But imagine if he actually used Boost and the shoe would have been great, but he opted to use Bounce and that's something to look onto that certain point of view. So. Uh, that's the reason why he chose Bounce, basically. So now for the Donovan issues, I'm guessing they use Bounce because, you know, he's not actually the main athlete for Adidas. We all know that's James Harden. Hmm, what else about Bounce? So, yun, okay, let's go back, sorry. So now for basketball versus style. So, Bounce versus Boost. So if you're more of a explosive kind of guy that wants more energy responsiveness that wants that boom feeling the bottom pug pug someone from a rebound you need to go towards back to a sprint boost is the way to go but if you want more balanced energy responsiveness and at the same time you want court feel like better court feel i mean like 
boost has good court feel, but you just want better court feel, I'd go with Bounce. Yeah. So those are the two main differences for Adidas Boost and Adidas Bounce for in terms of basketball. But for lifestyle, you know, honestly speaking, not a lot of people really look into it when it comes to lifestyle shoes. But if you are into that, I do suggest that if you have extra money, if you got a budget, go for the Boost, man. Why not, right? But if you're sakto lang, the budget is just sakto, then I suggest still go for the Bounce. I mean, you won't regret it. It's not a bad purchase. Anyways, good. Did I leave out anything? I did, yeah. So I did, uh, I do apologize, I did leave out one certain um, cushion setup by Adidas. And this is their latest, very, very latest. I think it came out 2018, I think. It is the Adidas Light Strike. So last 2018, they introduced this to the Adidas Next Level, which was which is worn by Trey Young. And honestly speaking, they say that Light Strike is way better than Boost. So I haven't tried it yet. Maybe it is because the Adidas Dame Six and the Adidas Volume Four is actually made out of, uh, has offers you Light Strike. So I do hope to get a pair soon. But I have my eye on this one, and that is the Deros Eleven, which finally offers from Bounce is now transitioning to the Adidas Light Strike. And I'm guessing Adidas Light Strike is, I guess it's cheaper to to produce than Boost. Because if they're able to put that in a D, in Dame's shoe, then that means it's not, probably it's not that expensive since Dame's deal with Adidas is that he wants his shoes to be more affordable than most shoes out there in the market. And at the same time, if they are putting that in the Deros line, then that actually means that it's not that expensive to make. So yeah, I actually don't know how their marketing goes. I just, you know, I'm just fascinated with all the shoes that they do have. Of, of course, sometimes there are questions about if you can actually put that in this shoe, then why is that shoe more expensive, right? Like if the Adidas Dame 6 is 6,000, why is the James Harden Volume 4 is 7K? I don't know. That's Adidas for you. Actually, that's any giant company for you. So yeah. So. Anyways, guys, um, do thank you guys for watching this video. And again, we already hit 100 subscribers. So our giveaway already started. So if you guys want to watch the mechanics of how the giveaway works, click that thing up there, the card up there. and uh, But I will also leave a link down in the description box for my previous video where the mechanics are explained and how it works. So I do hope that you guys join the giveaway as the announcement of winners will begin as soon as this shoe tech talk is done, as soon as we hit the final episode for this certain content or series of our YouTube channel. So again, guys, just a quick friendly reminder for everyone that um, the ECQ is over, the enhanced community quarantine, but it's still ongoing for some certain cities, I guess, in some certain areas in the Philippines. So basically some areas are already under GCQ and some areas are already under MECQ or modified enhanced community quarantine. So I will just like to give out a friendly reminder for everyone that just because the rules have gotten lighter doesn't mean that we should just take this pandemic lightly this pandemic is still happening there's still things that you know that we're still asking for like the mass testing and we're still waiting for that and i hope it happens um anyways guys um uh, i just want to remind everyone that just because it's gcq and mecq doesn't mean that you can take this pandemic very lightly doesn't mean that you can just go out and go to malls and just stay there guys um I know there are videos and pictures circulating around Facebook and I'm not judging all the other places, um, all the other malls that are open and, and stuff like that. It's just that please as much as possible, if you don't need to go outside, do not go outside, stay at home. Okay, larong laro na ako guys. Gusto ko na talaga mag basketball. Gusto ko na mag performance test ng mga sapatos ko. Okay, so please, please lang, mag stay tayo sa bahay ha. So yeah, um, but you know, that's just me, uh, that's just, just me being selfish about this thing but at the same time guys uh i do encourage you to stay at home and it's not just for you but it's for the people around you as well and it's for your parents it's for your siblings it's for your neighbors it's for anyone so um just think of the person beside you if you have this gut feeling to go out if you have this need to go out if actually not need if you have this want to go out on thing to is lang guys Onting ti espa. I mean, nagtagal na nga tayo for two months here at home, stuck at home. So, 
you know, as much as possible, let's not try to spread this virus because we're still trying to learn about it and we're still trying to find a cure for this. So anyways, guys, this was your boy JD uh, with a friendly reminder uh, that stay at home and at the same time, please do try to join our giveaway. And that's pretty much it. This was your boy JD and I'll see you guys next time.